For those who choose to continue their education after high school, landing on a college campus in the fall of a freshman year can be a bit overwhelming. When I first started going to college, it was kind of go to school just to get a degree. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I started taking on my prereqs. And at one point, I started kind of giving up, saying, why do I need this? I can just go to work and make good money. Jonathan is one of more than 19 million students currently attending a college or university in the U.S. But he's probably among the select few who always knew what his major would be. I actually grew up in construction. I've been in construction my whole life. My dad owned a small business. I've been involved since I was a little kid, uh, doing all types of construction from home remodels to outdoor paving. I chose Wayne State because I live about 20 minutes from Wayne State. A good school that had a, a good, diverse community. I spoke with one of my advisors when I was trying to choose my major, and at first I was gonna go to civil engineering, and they introduced me to Dr. Baglica. Uh, and they explained to me the construction management program. Wayne State, Michigan's third largest public university with more than 25,000 undergrad students, has a well-established construction management program, but was lacking a senior level capstone component. 12 years ago, I was uh, approached by the Dean of Engineering saying that there's you know, a, a new trend in the construction world, and they wanted to create the construction management program. We started out with six students. Now we have, you know, 200 plus students per semester. One of the things that we were missing was a senior project capstone class. Jim Chase from NECA contacted me and introduced me to uh, this, you know, this project. Right away, we got hooked on it and then we implement it as a core class within our curriculum. From that experience in the establishment of Wayne State's NECA student chapter to today, it's grown to become one of the best in the country, taking home the top honors at the 2021 NECA convention and show. Our students last year, they, they got first place in the ECIC challenge, so they got to go to Nashville, Tennessee, where the uh, competition was held last year in the NECA convention, and we're, we're gonna continue to be participating in this challenge. This program is constantly growing, and like they did with me, and we're trying to get other students to come in even earlier, sophomores, freshmen, whoever, whoever we can to get them involved, just, just so they know that this is what they're gonna be doing when they're at the senior level. The help that was given to us by these NECA contractors, associating themselves with the students and showing up to class every Saturday, it's humongous. 10 to 12 project managers meet with students weekly and, you know, and be there to guide them. And, you know, it was unbelievable. Uh, it, was a, it was a great, this, this year was one of the best experiences I had uh, since I started this, this competition. It has me in a career before I even graduate. And that's a big thanks to Dr. Baglica because I am not the only student he's done that for. He does that to 100% of his students. You go into the program without a job, you leave with a career. NECA contractors are the best in the world at what they do. They, along with the best electricians in the world, members of the IBEW, are working to build relationships with the best and brightest college students across the country. Tomorrow's leaders rising to the tops of their class today. From Wayne State University in Detroit, for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.